What's up everybody, Nonpon here, and if you haven't heard the news, Katya is receiving a truckload of buffs. So much to a point that I kind of think it's unreasonable. If you guys don't remember, the only thing I think Katya needed to change was her spread shot so it could be used in more situations. Well, CSUN took that feedback to heart and ran 10 miles with it. Not only will she receive an adjustment on her spread shot, but she also is getting a lot of damage buffs, which is, again, kind of crazy to me. So a couple things that are going to be changed to crossbows going forward. They will no longer fire a volley of arrows. They will now instead fire explosive arrows. <laughs> single fire. It's not going to be a volley. It's going to be a single fire shot that deals AOE damage instead. This is probably going to be more useful for dealing with mobs because that giant fan shape attack was very hard to hit with. Crossbows will now receive a damage buff based off boost to crit rate. So instead of not having much use of crit rate on logistics, they will now contribute to damage in some way. Crossbows still won't be able to crit, but at least critical hit rate and crit damage won't be entirely bricked on your logistics. And the best part is crossbows no longer have to follow the same rules as any other gun. They don't have damage drop off anymore. You do the same amount of damage no matter how close or how far away an enemy is, which is very, very powerful. That's what we've been waiting for. So a couple of things that were changed to her neuronics. Um, she will now receive a temporary attack buff after dodging. I think this is kind of a fun change because now instead of being stationary all the time, it incentivizes you to move around and dodge because you will get an attack buff for it. Uh, her M2, her Manifestation 2, will increase S energy that you get when you're attacking breakable parts. So her M2 was really good at armor breaking and this just makes it way better because she gets more S energy out of it. Uh, her M3 was to buff her M1 to make it easier to gain soul reader stacks. Um, they buffed that further, so now it's even easier to keep your stacks. And Manifestation 5, which I don't think many people will get to, uh, no longer has to be within 10 meters for her to get her alignment index. She just gets 165 alignment index out the gate. With um, You don't have to be 10 meters away from anything. You just get it. That's really, really, really nice. Um, again, it's kind of unreasonable in my opinion. Katya already did an insane amount of damage, but I think that... CSUN really likes Katya, the CN community really likes Katya, and her patch was incredible. So I think they want to keep it that way. A couple other things that are going to be changed to Katya is her duo's passive. Her duo passive will now do more damage to targets that are frozen. And speaking of which, her ultimate is going to be changing now. She actually gets two types of ultimates depending on what kind of fire mode that you're in, and she can even freeze targets with her ultimate. So not only can she do more damage to frozen targets, uh, she frees them, period. So that way you can actually loop in your DPS each time you use her ultimate, which is really nice because I think her ultimate is only like 60 energy. It's really, really insane. Um, they also adjust how her uh, alt fire will work with her duo's passive. And they're gonna adjust the S energy cost and the damage modifiers for it as well. But Overall, it is just crazy to me that we're no longer going to see this volley of arrows. We're just going to see explosive shots with crossbows, and it's going to make it way easier to deal with mobs. I wonder if the alt fire will end up being higher DPS than the single fire, but we'll have to see. If anything, I'm very happy I put off on making a guide on this character, because this seems like a complete overhaul. And once again, it's still kind of unreasonable, but hey, Katya might be one of the highest DPS characters in the game right now. Uh, we'll see what her adjustments will do. Maybe we'll see how well she does against Yao. Who knows? But all I can say is Katya right now is an absolute monster. If you don't have much time to pull her, if you do want to pull her, make your decision now. But it looks like she's good for the future. Anyway, I'll showcase the changes to her live on stream. Um, the patch goes live tonight, so if you want to check me out, twitch.tv forward slash nonpon. I'll pen the comment. All this information I got from snowbreak.gg thanks to Vikyush. Go follow his Twitter. Please give that man some support because without him, I would be lost. And we'll see how insane these changes are tomorrow. 
So that's going to be it for this video, guys. You all take care, and I'll have the guide soon. Goodbye.